If your Samsung TV keeps turning on and off by itself, it keeps restarting, or if you're switching it on and then it's turning itself off, or if it's just switching on by itself and you have to turn it off, then there's a number of related issues that could be causing it, which we're going to cover in this video. So the most common cause of a, of a Samsung TV that's just restarting constantly is that your TV is stuck in a boot loop. You most commonly find the, um, the Samsung TVs that keep uh, turning themselves on and off that it's the most recent models that have the issue, but this can happen with uh, all models. So if your TV is staying on for a few minutes or it's um, turning itself on and off at irregular intervals, it could be because of an HDMI issue with AnyNet Plus. So if you have um, other devices connected to your TV via HDMI, then the AnyNet Plus can allow those devices to turn your TV on and off depending on whether um, they are providing a signal or not. So first of all, just try switching off um, the auto turn off option on AnyNet Plus, or you can switch off AnyNet Plus itself. So if you go to Home and Settings, General, and then External Device Manager, um, and then you can find AnyNet Plus, you can either click to deactivate it on uh, some models, some recent models of TV, or um, some older models actually have the auto turn off option um, that you can switch off directly. Samsung TVs also have some sleep and power off timers, um, which can automatically turn off the TV after a set amount of time. So just make sure all of these timers are switched off and that they're not causing your issue. So they're, they'll usually be in settings and then general and system manager and time. Um, and then there'll be a sleep timer and an off timer. Just make sure they're switched off. Modern Samsung TVs also have an eco timer, which will turn the TV off if there's no signal for a set period of time. So just make sure there's no issue with that. Uh, so go to settings, general and eco solution, and then turn off auto power off and uh, energy saving mode or power saving mode. There might also be a no signal power off on um, older models. So just switch all of that off. If that doesn't seem to help though, your TV is still restarting by itself, um, and it's on for long enough where you can actually get into the menus, then it's a good idea just to check the uh, event logs. So this will be for any Samsung TVs manufactured since 2019. And to get to the event logs, go to settings and then support and about this TV. If about this TV is greyed out, then it's probably likely that you've got hospitality mode switched on. Um, you can switch that off in the service menu. And there's a uh, linked video in the top right that will show you how to do that. But when you go to About This TV, you'll then uh, be able to click Event Logs. And you'll want to look for anything with the um, that starts with something like Power On Reason or Power Off Reason. So if you see something with Update in it, then it's likely that your TV has got stuck in a boot loop caused by a failed update, which is causing it to power on and off. In that case, you could try and fix it by plugging your TV into an Ethernet cable and connecting that to your router. And uh, hopefully it will then be able to uh, fully download the update. Uh, you could also try factory resetting your TV in that situation if, you, um, if you're able to, if your TV stays on for long enough. So you can do that from the settings menu, a general and privacy and reset and uh, the default pin you'll need is four zeros. If you're seeing a power on or power off reason of CEC command in the event log, then that means that it's a device um, over HDMI that's turning your TV on and off. So um, switching off any net plus uh, will fix that or just removing the HDMI cable connecting the device to your TV. If you're seeing something like power on reason and then an app name, then that named app will be powering on your TV. So try updating that app individually. And if that doesn't work, then try reinstalling the app. If you've got um, a power on reason of sensor, then that will be the ambient mode. Um, 
uh, switching on your screen caused by lighting changes in your room, and this tends to be with the, the frame TVs. Um, and this is because um, the frame TVs have that uh, uh, a low energy uh, mode where they just display the um, uh, a piece of artwork. So you'll have to fully manually power down your TV in that case if you wanted it to stop. If you've got um, uh, a power on reason of uh, WOL, so that's uh, wake on LAN, and that means a device on your local network, so um, a device over Wi-Fi is switching on your TV. You can switch off the ability for any other device to switch on your TV. So it could be something like Alexa is connecting to your TV and switching it on, or uh, Google Home or some other um, household smart device. But you can switch off the ability for these devices to control your TV by going to System power and wake on LAN uh, on your TV's menu and then switch that off. Similarly, if you've got um, uh, a power on reason of BLE, then that means a device connected to your TV by Bluetooth is switching your TV on. You can't disable Bluetooth uh, from the, the main menu screens of your TV, but you can switch it off from the service menu and uh, again, there's a link video in the top right that will show you how to access the service menu. And you'll be looking for um, BT in the service menu, then switching that off. If you see, if you have a frame TV with the one invisible connection and you see the one invisible connection appearing as a reason why your TV is powering on or off, then it most likely means that you've got a poor connection between that one connection cable and your TV. Um, or that the cable itself has become pinched. So try reinserting the cable and uh, checking there's no damage to it. If none of that's helped and your TV is still turning itself on and off, then you can try power cycling it first of all, just to make sure there's no software glitch that's causing the issue. So switch off and unplug your TV, and then hold down the physical power button for at least 15 seconds. Wait for at least 30 minutes for any residual power to drain from the TV's capacitors and then plug it back in and try switching it on. And you can just try that three or four times if that doesn't work, and hopefully that will um, uh, stop your TV from restarting by itself. So also just make sure that there's no um, signals being sent by your remote control to your TV. So just try taking the batteries out for your remote to make sure that there's not a stuck button on your remote that's causing it to come on and off. You could also just double check uh, whether you've got the latest firmware um, installed on your TV. If you go to uh, settings and then support and uh, then uh, under contact Samsung or about this TV, it will show you the software version and the model code. And you can go to Samsung's support site and put in your TV's model number. And that will show you what the latest firmware version is. And uh, just make sure that that is the same version you have installed on your TV. If there's a later version on the on the site, um, then try manually plugging your TV into Ethernet to update it. You should also just have a look at the uh, back of your TV and just run your hand over it and see if there's any areas that's um, that you'll find are too hot to touch. If there are, then it's likely that you've got some kind of overheating issue with your TV. So you've got um, a chip that's overheating. Um, and there could also be capacitor damage or other component damage. If you're up for the challenge, you can um, unplug your TV, hold down the power button, check all the powers drained, leave it for about 30 minutes, and then just um, remove the back panel and have a look and see if you can uh, find the component that's the issue. Um, but if you do find an area that's too hot to touch, then it's likely that you've got a more serious issue that's going to need... Um, component replacement or replacement of an internal board.